All right, so we're installing these Synergy adjustable ball joints uh, for Jeep JK. Uh, the uh, lower ball joint is actually adjustable here. The preload's able to be adjusted uh, with this piece. It, it uh, rotates. Uh, basically, you can actually take this whole thing apart as well, and um, it can be rebuilt that way too. So as you go along, um, it's, uh, it can be adjustable, and then once the adjustment is out, you can get a rebuild kit through Synergy Manufacturing. So it's a pretty sweet uh, setup. We're going to go ahead and install these um, and get my Jeep set up right, and hopefully uh, never have to do these again. So I'm removing this dust boot because I don't have a cup that fits the like up against here properly. And so that I don't damage these um, splines here, I'm going to um, take the dust boot off and kind of press it in so that I can actually get a little bit more square on there. The grease zerk, you want it to point kind of um, forward and inboard a little bit um, so you can actually access it to grease it later on when the wheels and everything are back on. You want to make sure splines are going in nice and straight into the, uh, the receiving C. Um, and if it doesn't, you'll be able to tell because it'll get really tight and difficult to do. So I'll go ahead and get the uh, Zerk fitting in there. And put my dust boot back on. Lower ball joint goes in from the bottom, upper goes in from the top. Um, so just press this down in. Go ahead and get the uh, Zerk fitting in. Tighten it up with our 8mm. So that's it. Ball joints are in. From here, it's just assembly of the rest of the parts. Uh, we're going to do some other stuff to this one, but um, that's pretty much it. Lower ball joint, upper ball joint, zerk fittings, dust boot, good to go. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and do an adjustment on these to show you how it's done. I only have 75 miles on it, but basically you bend that tab out of the way as well as the tab on the opposite side. And then you're going to turn the adjustment piece, which I show here, until it hits 10 foot-pounds on your torque wrench. So let's go ahead and get started. Start by bending the front tab out of the way. You'll have to turn lock to lock to get it to them easier. And then we'll do the rear one. So I found it easiest to put the tool in there first and then get your uh, torque wrench on it. Right. So Synergy says to kind of check it, see if the tangs are lined up, and if not, go ahead and tighten it more to where they are. Perfect. All done. Thanks a lot, guys, for uh, watching, and uh, hope you learned a little bit about Synergy's JK adjustable ball joints.